So there's another guy who does what I do. Uh, he's extremely well respected. Um, he does extremely good work. Um, I hate him. I have I have <laughs> uh, You know, it's he's always been very nice to me when I've seen him professionally. It just I have an irrational hatred of him. And uh, whenever his name comes up, I like it drives me nuts. Like people bring it like we're we hired him, and I was like, good. You know? <laughs> Uh, and and, I, and because I'm because I, I hate him, uh, I'm really competitive with him, and so I will go online and look at my book rankings, and I'll immediately check his. <laughs> and mind you, I don't look at anybody else's, just his. And uh, if I'm ahead, I've got this like smug feeling, and if he's ahead, uh, I get really pissed off, you know. Um, so anyway, we had the opportunity to uh, speak at the same event. I don't mean like me in the morning, him in the afternoon. Afternoon, Like we were interviewed together on the stage. And the interviewer thought it would be fun if, <clears throat> if we introduced each other. And so I went first. And then I looked at him and I said, um, you make me really insecure. Um, all of your strengths are all of my weaknesses. And uh, when your name comes up, it makes me really uncomfortable. And he looked at me and he said, funny, I feel the same about you. The reason I had such an irrational hatred of him had nothing to do with him, it had to do with me. He's my worthy rival. His strengths revealed to me my own weaknesses. And instead of confronting and taking a hard look at myself and evaluating those weaknesses and working on those weaknesses, it was much easier to take all of that negative energy and direct it towards him. In other words, to be competitive, to want to beat him, right? It was a very cathartic experience. Uh, um, we've since become very close friends, have worked together. I no longer check his book rankings. And because we share the same cause, we can actually work together. Um, and, so, and so what I recognized was so often in business, we have these competitors, sometimes on our own teams, that we want to beat them. We've all had the experience where one of our colleagues got a promotion and we got upset. We got angry. We got angry at somebody else's success. Think about that for a second. Why couldn't we share in the joy, right? What is it about them that's being revealed in us? That's the problem, right? And so having worthy rivals instead of competitors, competitors are, are other players we set out to beat. But the problem with that is there's no finish line. And so if we're obsessed with beating the other company, then at some point, sure, you're ahead in whatever metric you chose until when, right? At what expense, at what cost? Uh, that's not sustainable. But rather, the other players inside our industry, outside our industry, on our own teams, we can choose our own worthy rivals. Their strengths reveal to us our weaknesses, and by having our weaknesses revealed to us, it means we have the opportunity to grow and improve. And the infinite game, at its core, is basically a game of constant improvement. And so our, our, our worthy rivals reveal to us our weaknesses and our opportunities to improve. <laughs> <laughs>